and Angora goats at the Dillner Hillside Farm. It's late September at the Dillner Hillside Farm and it's time for the next harvest of beautiful mohair from our Angora goats. Today we're going to shear Elizabeth for her third clip yearling mohair. I'm Jessica Dillner from the Dillner Hillside Farm. I've been farming Angora goats now for 20 years. And today I'm going to be harvesting the mohair from um, this goat here. Her name is Elizabeth. And she is one and a half years old. Uh, she's wearing her yearling mohair, which is some of the most beautiful there is. And I make some very nice hand spun yarns that are hand painted with this beautiful mohair. I use just regular um, sewing scissors for my shearing. Um, I feel like when an animal is here in the stand that I have, um, they're much more relaxed and I can do a very nice job at keeping them comfortable and also that they don't get um, cut as easily. Um, and so I'm going to begin by shearing their head and the neck. Scissors are definitely um, much slower, but I only have maybe 15 animals to do each season, and so it takes me about an hour to an hour and a half to finish, and usually that's about the goat's attention span, and because I'm not using electric shears, there's much less chance of them getting injured. Sometimes I do nick them, but it's never an injury that I've had to worry about or that they suffered from. I always shear the head first because it's when they're not as tired of me yet. The top knot mohair is not the best, so I probably won't save this.
The mohair harvest is complete. Look at all those beautiful curls that I can make into beautiful hand spun yarns for other people to enjoy. And there's Elizabeth, all nicely shorn, enjoying the sunshine and having some very nice green grass.